What's good YouTube, it's Sean here, and today I'm back to review the neighborhood collaboration with Adidas on the Aniki, or what's officially known now as the i5923. These released on February 24th alongside three other models. Of the entire pack, this one was easily my favorite despite the NMD being the most sought after. These shoes retailed for a price of 200 US dollars or 280 Canadian dollars. The official colorway for this shoe is core black and footwear white. Here in Canada, these were available in limited numbers on adidas.ca and they were also available at select boutiques around the country including livestock. So Neighborhood, if you guys haven't heard of them before, is a Japanese label and this shoe is inspired by Japanese history, modern streetwear and motorcycle culture. As such, the entire collection, both the footwear as well as the clothing, was entirely done in black and white. So the box that they came with looks like this. So this is a black and white Adidas box. We have the three stripes on the top and running down the sides. And then we have this Adidas and Neighborhood branding found on both sides of the shoe box. So the upper of these I5923s, which I still really hate that name, is comprised of black prime knit. Taking a closer look at the toe, you can see that this prime knit has this knitted texturized effect to it. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, we have this black suede. Black suede is also found running up the center where the eyelids are, as well as forming the three stripes found on the midfoot of both sides of the shoe. In addition, we also have this neighborhood branding done in white found on one of the stripes. The tongue on these I5923s is also done in black prime knit, and at the very top we have this Adidas and neighborhood branding done in black and white. Overlaid on top of this, we have the laces, which are just your standard flat laces done in black. Unlike your traditional Inikis or I5923s where the heel cup is done in fabric, in this case we have an actual TPU heel cup done in black. At the top of the heel on the left foot we have the word neighborhood and on the right foot we have the word brigade. These are both done in short form fashion in white. The interior of the shoe is done in black and there is no actual insole on these shoes. Instead they've applied this graphic which is stitched on directly to the bottom of the shoe and this has Adidas and neighborhood branding found throughout. As I flip the shoe over to the bottom, here we have your standard outsole that's done completely in white rubber and we have this Adidas branding on the bottom heel. In terms of sizing, I found that these ran ever so slightly larger than your standard Aniki or I5923. I found that the materials on the shoe was a bit more rigid than the standard models and as a result it felt a little bit more boxy and therefore a little bit more roomy. However, the difference in the sizing was really really minimal, so I stuck with my same size that I always wear with the Anikis, which is a 10.5. To give you guys a point of reference, I also wear 10.5 in other Adidas models like the NMD R1 done in mesh, the Ultraboost 1.0, 2.0, and 4.0, as well as the EQT 9317. To be fair, with the Nikki in general, I probably could easily size down to a size 10, but I just kind of prefer that looser fit on this model. Comfort wise, so I don't know if it was just my feet playing tricks on me, but this version felt a little bit more comfortable than the standard Nikki or i5923. To me personally, it just felt like the boost was a little bit more responsive and I can really feel that bounce back feeling when I wore these on feet. All things considered though, I would put this below the Ultra Boost and above the NMD in terms of comfort. So now let me lace these up and show you guys how these look on feet. Overall, I was really drawn to the simplicity of this colorway. When I first saw pictures of this, I knew I had to get this for the collection, and fortunately I was able to grab a pair at Livestock here in Toronto. Sometimes less is more, and I feel like this shoe captures that saying perfectly. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this Neighborhood and Adidas i5923. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel, and give me a follow on my Instagram at sgo8. You can also check out my website, which is now up at seango.ca. And until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in my next review.